Hi, this is Sunny from Fruit for Trade. Do you know the shipping ways when you import products from China? Do you know which way is best for you? In today's video, I will explain in detail which shipping ways are available, as well as their advantages and disadvantages. I believe you will find the most suitable way for you. First of all, when you choose to import from China, there are generally three choices International Express, Air and Sea Transportation International Express First of all, you can see this box. The customer is from USA. The product he bought is jewelry, which contains 240 of earrings. Customers choose to ship by International Express. Similar to such a box, we choose to FedEx Express to customers. It takes around 5 work days to USA. The cost is $54. Cause the value of jewelry is relatively high, and the volume is very small, so it is appropriate for him to choose International Express, and you can quickly get the goods of what you buy. There are many International Express companies, such as UPS, FedEx, DHL and so on. We will recommend the most cost-effective shipping way for customers according to their needs. When you ship by International Express, you need to pay attention to the declaration value. The declared value will determine the tax you need to pay, which is the tax your country needs to charge you. Usually, our advice is that if you are an individual, we suggest that the declared value should be lower than the actual value, so as to reduce the tax you need to pay. If you are a company, we suggest that you declare according to the actual situation, because the duties you pay can be deducted from the taxes in other places. Specific how to operate, you are welcome to ask me in private. Air transportation when your product is with large CBM, but you are very hurry to get the goods, we suggest you take the air transportation. You can see the goods around me. These products are from an American customer who is preparing to send them to Amazon. Customer choose to ship by air. About 7 to 10 days to reach US Amazon warehouse. Generally, the cost of air transportation is calculated by the weight. The freight will be different according to the different freight volume at different time, and the price will also be different. In the calculation of weight, we need to pay attention to one point. The volume weight should also be calculated. For example, the goods around me, let's go to weigh it. The actual weight is 7.35 kg, but the box size is 50 by 40 by 30 cm and the volume weight has a formula length by width by height divide 6000 so its volume weight is 50 by 40 by 30 divide 6000 that means 10 kg so the weight of the goods will be calculated according to 10 kg although the actual weight is only 7.35 kg. Do you understand? Sea transportation. If you have a lot of goods, you will need to use container transportation. General container has three kinds of volume. One by 20 feet can load around 24 to 26 cbm. One by 40 gp can load around 54 cbm. 1 by 40 high Q can load around 66 CBM. You can decide to ship by which kind of container you want according to your needs. But the cost for 1 by 40 GP is same as 1 by 40 high Q. As you can see, we are now loading a container 1 by 40 high Q to India. Our workers are currently loading the container. When loading the container, we usually pay attention to the following points. Heavy goods should put on the bottom of the container. The goods with same item number should put together as much as possible. 
Glass products are handled with care. Two of our colleagues are checking the quantity into the container to ensure that no error is made. Our colleague will print a list of the goods and check the shipping mark one by one before loading the container. And there is a person who will count the quantity in the container and keep taking photos to let the customers know the process of our container loading. We will send these photos to customers as if they were on-site supervision and loading. After finish loading the container, we will lock it, which has a unique number to ensure that it, there is no opening it again in the middle, and this lock is disposable. You have to break it if you want to open it. Okay, today we have finished loading the container. Now it will go to the port of Ningbo, China to receive customs inspection and the declaration. So, our video is here. I hope this video can give you a comprehensive understanding of how we deliver goods to customers. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.